If my boyfriend asks me to marry him, I'm going to say no. Why am I going to say no? Because we started dating five years ago. And then a month after we started dating, his friend started dating his girlfriend. And they had a kid after two years of being together. We had our daughter after four years of being together. His friend pays all the bills in their home. We pay 50-50. Um, his friend got engaged last year. And um, we haven't gotten engaged. His friend got married this past weekend. And the crazy thing is that when we started talking, he said, if we last a year, I'd like to get married and try for a baby. So a year came by, nothing. Then he said, well, maybe after three years, let's look at it like a lease payment. You get three years. Three years came by, nothing. And then he said, maybe five. Five is a big deal. Bet. Five came, nothing. So I got tired of dropping hints. Got tired of sending ring photos. And I was just hoping that it would happen. So he goes to his friend's wedding this weekend. And I'm hoping that it would be a motivator. But to be honest, at this point, I don't even care. Like, I really don't care. Like, the magic of the idea of how he would propose and and all of that, it's like... If you had that much doubt about marrying me, now I have these doubts. Like, why? What do you need? What's not enough? Shoot, I, I know I'm enough. You're not about to make me feel insecure. So he says, well, I made you the mother of my first and only child. And that should be good enough because that's a big deal. That's forever. And yeah, it's a big deal. That's forever. But like, damn, I'm good enough to be a baby mama, but I'm not good enough to be a wife. So at this point, I'm like, if he proposes, I'm going to say no. Why? Because if it took him so long and he had so many doubts, he thinks it's all under his control, his power. Like, when I feel like it, that's when I'm going to propose and she's just going to say yes. No. I have some say too. I have some say too. And I can say no. If you are already saying no, why are you still there? Comparison is a thief for joy. Now, if you're not happy with how your man is handling things, maybe you should have talked to him before making a whole video and put it on the internet. So she thinks that something's going to change after she came on the net and clowned him. She really uploaded that video and thought, yeah, they're going to love this. This will make my man change. Conversations about marriage should come way before pushing out a baby, especially if marriage is what you want. That's just my opinion. I think majority of women in our current times don't think individually. They have to create a perfect scenario in their head to justify their rubbish way of thinking. At this point, the men should just protect the best from them. Hypergamy has them always looking for the best option and her baby daddy friend is looking better to her. Wouldn't be surprised if she gave him some because this shorty is focused on everything but her own damn relationship. This is why so many relationships fail because everybody wants somebody else's life or goals. Most women love to be sad. They are addicted to being the victim. They create their own unhappiness and they stay over complicating their lives. Women who have that sense of entitlement will always be unsatisfied, lonely, and they 100% deserve it. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.